Hi there, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about stress and your metabolism today. And this is a really important piece that makes a big difference in the overall results that you're getting. So, everybody has stress in their life. This is not something that you can kind of go without. Um, so this is a really, really important kind of piece of information that can help a lot of people. So, um, this is all part of, you know, everything that I have coming up. Um, my book is coming out, The Female Fat Solution. I'm going to be up in Fargo uh, on North Dakota today, um, kind of promoting that and talking about that. And then I do have a challenge group that's starting May 1st. I'm going to be focused on hormone issues, thyroid, adrenals, everything else, specifically, you know, focusing on stress issues. So if you are interested in jumping on board with that, let me know. You can click the link. And hi, Katie. Um, and you can get on board with that. Um, everything is designed for women. It's meal plans, recipe guides, everything. You know, really taking you through different food each week to match with your body's hormones, work with your body, and really target some of these really tough issues that women have a really hard time with. A lot of the things that women do are geared towards men. So not that it's bad information. It's just you're following a plan that's not designed for you. So sometimes when you're like, why am I not getting that result? What's happening? It's not you, and it's not that you're doing it wrong. You're just following the wrong plan. So... This is a plan that's designed specifically for women. Um, and this is a piece that women struggle with a lot. Um, in the upcoming challenge group I have, we're gonna be focused on adrenals and really restarting adrenals. Um, oh, <laughs> hi, Melissa! <laughs> Hashtag Beth Fan Club. Oh, you guys, you're hilarious. <laughs> um, stress is something that every everybody encounters in their life. Women tend to have a little bit more of it sometimes than, um, than men do. Uh, women struggle from what I call chronic stress. So it feels like stress just keeps coming again and again, and it's all day long. And it, you know, you run from one thing to the next and you have kids and dogs and da da da. Like my kids are upstairs right now trying to finish their dinner, but I can hear them playing with the dog instead. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but these are things that when you have stress, stress can be a healthy um, input into your system as long as it's done at an appropriate level and it ends at some point when people get in chronic stress. That stress cycle doesn't end and that's when it has a really damaging effect on your body system. This is what leads to adrenal fatigue. So meaning your body just kind of goes and kind of craps out. Hi, Terry. <laughs> so if you're finding this information helpful, I would so appreciate it if you could click the share button and just kind of get this information out to other people that really need it. Because not enough people know about chronic stress and the negative effects on the body. So when you're under chronic stress and your adrenals are constantly pumping out the stress hormone cortisol, it has this rampant negative effect on your body and your system. Now I could go on for days about everything that it does in the body, but what I wanna focus on right now is how it specifically impacts your metabolism in a negative way. So when you're under stress, and this is this hormone cortisol, cortisol, which is not your friend sometimes. Um, what it happens to help decrease your metabolism, how it does that is, oh hi Beth. <laughs> Um, is that it really decreases the activity of your intestines. So it will slow down your digestive system. If you have any other, hi Katie, <laughs> if you have any other issues in your digestive system, say, you know, IBS or um, there's other issues, you know, ulcers, right? A heartburn, upset stomach, any of these other things. Say you have a sensitivity to some foods, you're under stress that's gonna be a ton worse for you because of the how damaging stress is on your gut, on your intestines, on your belly. Another really fun fact is that your immune system lives in your intestines. So when your immune system um, is having a hard time too, you get sick more often. So stress is really hard on your gut. So this overall is gonna help decrease your metabolism, which is not what you want. The healthier and happier your gut is, the faster your metabolism can work. So stress also impacts your muscles in a really negative way. Uh, this is because it, um, the way the muscles wear down more quickly, you have a harder time recovering. Your body doesn't flush out that excess junk. Say you're doing a workout and you're like, oh, I'm really sore from a workout, right? Your body didn't flush that excess stuff out quick enough. That's what happens too with stress, is that your body doesn't flush out the natural chemical byproduct that takes place in the muscle contraction, even if you're not working out. So you're under stress, you're gonna feel like, oh, 
I'm sore because when you're under stress, what do you do? You clench, you tighten up, your muscles get all tight, right? And then your body doesn't have enough energy to flush everything out and reset. So it's really tough on your muscles and your entire body system. Now, how does this translate into your metabolism? Well, if blood is not flowing evenly through your body, that's going to slow everything down. The more tension you have, the slower everything moves. Um, it also will have a negative effect on your blood sugar. When you're under stress, your body takes everything and turns it into sugar. It will take sugar and store it as fat, and it will also target the muscle tissue and use that protein and turn it into sugar because it's saying, I need sugar, because that's what cortisol, our friend, our friend cortisol does. And it has a negative effect on your blood sugar because all of a sudden your blood sugar goes up and then down and then up and then down. And then you're like, oh, I feel like I'm going to crash. Oh, what's wrong with me? I just feel like garbage today. What's happening? Stress. Stress is happening. That's what it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is a really hard way to go through your day, especially if you're trying to be on track, especially if you're trying to do all these really great healthy things and say, I'm going to eat really good. I'm going to eat lots of protein and healthy fats today and everything else. You are under a lot of stress. It doesn't matter how hard your, you know, how strong your willpower is. Your body will start to shut down and not work properly because of the stress. Because how it targets the blood sugar. Because of what it does to your blood sugar. So these are the things I think women don't necessarily pay attention to. You're having a hard day and you're thinking, oh, I'm just so worn out. I feel like I should be able to stick to this. And I just don't have enough willpower or I need more accountability or something like that. And it's like, okay, sure, maybe, but also take a look at your stress levels and be really honest with yourself. Are you really stressed out? If so, then your body is chemically doing something completely different than somebody else that say maybe just needs to work on their blood sugar. So again, you're not, you're not working with the same, you know, you know, you're not playing the same game necessarily. You're under a ton of stress and your body's not functioning the way that it should, which is why you're having a hard time. Not, I just need to be focused and have a lot of willpower and, mm, and eat my salad, you know. So, very different thing. Uh, making a tasty chocolate shake listening to Beth teach. Best thing I could do for myself. Yay! <laughs> Hi, Spot. I know, you're here again. Good boy. You're a good boy. Mm -hmm. Animals are excellent for decreasing stress in your life. Except for when you eat stuff off my counter. Isn't it right, puppy? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, Spotter. When he eats stuff off the counter. Oh, I know. You just want to love. I know. I know. Thank you. Thank you. So this is. these are just a few ways of stress decreasing. <laughs> oh, my God. We, it's got out of control now. It got out of control now. He's, he's excited. Okay, calm down, Spot. You're good. You're good. So these are ways that stress really decreases your metabolism. And then, and there's more, right? There's more ways that it really has a hard time when your body's under a lot of stress and it has a lot of, um, just kind of pumping out cortisol constantly. It has this whole damaging negative effect on your system and it's really hard to recover from that. So working out and coming back from a workout is going to be very, very different too. So therefore you're thinking like, I got to work, I got to, I know, I look at that. I got to be petting you all the time. Um, you're thinking I should work out. That's going to help my stress, right? Well, maybe, but if you're already under a ton of stress, you're actually not going to be recovering from that properly, and it's going to have a more damaging effect than a beneficial effect. So it just de it depends. <sighs> yeah, so it's a tough thing to kind of go through. But if, if you have any questions on this, please don't hesitate to comment below or message me, and I would be more than happy to kind of dive through this with you and figure out, okay, are you under chronic stress? How long has it been going on? What are other issues you have going on? And then what are some great ways that you can navigate this? If you know that this sounds like you and you're like, holy crap, yes, this is, this is me. I feel like it's affecting a lot of these different systems and I'm not coming out of it well enough. What do I do? There's a lot of great things you can do to start chipping away at that. It doesn't change overnight, but every time you make a change, it makes a, it, you know, you can see the difference and feel the difference of decreasing the stress and having your different body systems work a lot better. So yes, and this is one thing that we're going to be focusing on a lot in the challenge group. Because it's just, <laughs> for a lot of people think, oh, holidays are stressful or these other things are stressful. Um, I think everybody goes through different stressful phases in their life. And the more tools you have, the more information you have available to kind of get through that, the better. So if you can go through a, a challenge or a course or a program and get some of this information and say, okay, I know how to do this. I know how to recover from this. That way, any other time you encounter this in your life, 
You know exactly what to do to target the stress, to stay healthy, and to come out on the other end of it a heck of a lot stronger than you were, than you were going in. So that's my goal for everybody. Um, workouts are stressful too. Yes, they are. They can be. Mm -hmm. So that's my goal for everybody who's joining our challenge group. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to end the video now because I just heard a very suspicious noise from upstairs. I'm not sure what it was, but I'm going to, I'm going to go find out. All right. Um, everybody have a great night. Again, if you have questions, please let me know. Otherwise I will see you guys tomorrow.